All right, here's what's going on. So, um, I have nothing to do. I'm bored. Uh, I've already done all my work for today. I've edited all my three videos, edited and scheduled and stuff. And I can't think of anything else to do because I have nothing else to watch. Oh, I could be watching anime, actually. Maybe I should just watch anime instead of doing this. I completely forgot about anime. Um... Well, whatever. I can't drink because I have to do stuff tomorrow. So I thought, why not review some Counter-Strike maps? Because there's four new maps, I believe. Pit Stop and Calavera, two new Wingman maps. And uh, Grind and Mocker, two new competitive maps. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to review some new maps. Now, I've actually played one map on pit stop but I haven't so these are no longer like that new these are actually like a I think a a, a week or two old now but I haven't played them yet because I haven't really been playing counter strike um so we're just gonna have a wander around but I have played one match on pit stop and it was actually quite fun um surprisingly so so pit stop obviously wingman if you don't know is 2v2 matches um Although, it seems that it's taking a while to load. Why am I not recording this in OBS? Uh, couldn't be bothered to, to sync it up. But also, the OBS recordings aren't that good, to be honest. Because you can hear my fan noise really well. I have to, like... Yeah, it's just too complicated. Alright. Stupbot underscore kick. Um, round... What is it? CL underscore rounds. Is it CL? I don't remember. Anyway, it should be fine. So, we're just gonna... Is my sense really low? Alright, whatever. Okay, now it's too high. Alright, this blue. So, this is pit stop. There's a big wall between... So, this is CT spawn over here, if I remember correctly. Like... This is like CT spawn over here, and T spawn is just like, why, why is, why is my click not working? What the fuck have I done? What the fuck? I can't fire. Okay, well, no firing bullets, I suppose. But, um, here we are. This is T spawn, and yeah, there's CT over the wall. So up here, there's like an up, up, upstairs section. Um, this is neat for throwing flashes out. You throw a flash over this wall, and it will like pop flash, and this is how you actually get out. And it's a drop down, a one way drop down into, um, oh, there's an ang here. I never even seen this ang. I suppose it's not that good because you kind of stick out, but yeah. This is the bomb site. So obviously in this orange triangle is the place you can plant. And I'm about to run out of time because I just remembered it's MP underscore round time diffuse 999 and then MP underscore round time and then not diffuse, just regular round time. Uh, can I shoot now? I don't know why it's not letting me shoot, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Not like there's anything to do. So I have an hour to now wander around this map. Let's get back over to the bomb site. Um, so, yeah, this is this. Is, it's a pretty simple bomb site. Um, there's a few interesting sight lines. Um, like this is this is for T side really. Um, I mean, this is for both sides. So this is this is one choke point. I, let's go. Let's go. Let's go choke point by choke point. So if we're talking about the upstairs section, um, so th this again, you can't go through here, um, but you can throw pop flashes and, and stuff. Uh, and sometimes you know CTs can also get up here. So this is a choke point as well. Because there's a there's a ramp up here for CTs and they arrive, you arrive basically at the same time. Like CTs can sort of guard this area, but it's not the strongest angle because you can only guard this area. And since it's a two v two, like 
if they don't come here and you've wasted a whole player just guarding this, then it's a pretty long rotate to any other place on the map. Like, it's relatively long. Or, I suppose they could be, like, Overwatch type of situation from up here. But again, you really don't want to be taking battles from up here. This is kind of a risk-reward spot because there's not much cover. Um, but there's basically no cover um, for any of the real sight lines. So back here... These are people... This is going to be like an actual battle because you can like... ADAD, AD, you can like, you know, from like over here, you can sort of get a sight line. This is this is like an actual place that you can be. But this this back plat, that's what I'm gonna call it, um, is not really the strongest place to hold for from most uh, CTs because um, I mean this place just has no. You're just out in the open anywhere over here. I mean you could use it as like a fighting here or maybe like fight here and then fall back, but no, you're gonna be in the open, like, you're, you're basically fucked. Like, this is, it's a well-designed map where you can, like, you can hide that sight line, but then you're open here and here, right? Or you can hide this sight line, but then, you know, you're open here and here. Or you can hide all three, but then you can't see anyone. Uh, or you can, you know, shoot up here, you're, basically, you're open no matter what you do, you're open to someone. Um, so this is not really the strongest because you're often open to like two different people and even if you're back here if you get pushed you're fucked if like because they could push you from anywhere and you're fucked um as a ct so really i recommend guarding drop from this because uh, this gives you way more options uh, this has no collision the, the the top bar has no collision interesting yeah this gives you way more options or like over here maybe or you know, something like that, or just somewhere else on site. Um, can you actually jump up here, or is there like weird slopiness, like clip rushes to stop you from jumping up? No? Oh yeah, yeah, there's an invisible wall here, so you can't jump. That fucking sucks, that would be a cool spot to get to. That's a big, that's definitely something I don't like about this map. And other than that, the bomb site, it's like, very obvious, here's the open plant, here's the safe plant, like, <laughs> very obvious. Um, and that's pretty much your only options. I mean, I suppose you could plant here, but it doesn't give, really give you any advantage. Or behind, even. Maybe this is, like, a place to plant and then guard for plat. But that's not really a good angle. I would say, if I was going to plant... Not that... It's a wingman map. No one's ever planting. Let's let's move on to a, another place in the map, because no one's ever going to plant. Um, so this is another choke point. Again, T's, if you don't want to go up there, you can run past it into here. And these are basically your two options as a T. Um, now, CTs can come, this is a bit of a weird place because like CTs could come from this place because you could like, as a CT, run all the way through here, right? Through, through, like through the site from here, all the way through the site over to here, and then take this fight. But you're going to arrive after players who just go straight here. So what's going to happen is as a T, you're going to you're not going to have to worry about this if you're rushing. Only if you're if you're, if you're going slow. But if you're rushing, you're not going to have to worry about this. You're going to be worried about here, and then you can get flanked from over here while you're already peeking this corner. So that's a bit weird. It's a bit of a weird situation. Maybe smoke it off or something, or or play here. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure about how to deal with that. I I would assume all of this is yeah. All of this is clipped off. You can't get over there. Uh, maybe you can boost up to get a weird sight line, but I don't know. Um, and this place is very clipped off, I kind of don't like it, I like maps that are a bit more free. Um, and I suppose as a T, you can actually, if you're, if, you, if, if you're just a mad lad, you could just rush through here, be hop through here, and, um, you know, flank the CTs. Although, I don't see, I mean, maybe it could happen, again, it's wingman, it's a of a wild, wild west kind of situation. You could flank the CTs from there, or you could flank the CTs from, from up here. Right? I suppose that's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much all your options. Like, you either go, you come through here, or you go up there, and that's it as a T. And then you either go into this sort of area, this sort of wide open area, which gives you all of the options of being in CT, or you go straight the shortcut into here, which just leads directly into the site, and then you take your fights on the site. 
that's pretty much your only options is a T. That's literally three, you only really have three routes and they're all really short. Uh, but as a CT, you have a few more options. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong, a simple map is a good is a good thing, especially on Wingman, it's, it, it's pretty desirable actually. So obviously as a CT, you have two very obvious paths, you can either go left or right. This is the most direct route to, to site. So if you're going to be wanting to play a site, like uh, watch this angle, or watch drop, this is probably, I'd recommend one CT playing from site, just going straight here, and then one CT so, so you know, this is this is how it's designed. So one CT goes over here, one CT plays here, and you know they would either take this. Uh, uh, I suppose I don't know. I don't know what you do if you go here. You 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 could maybe this is for rotating. I'm not sure what this is for. Like, what's the advantage of going round here then back into sight rather than the more direct route from straight over here? I'm not sure. I suppose this is more of like a rotating corridor, kind of like, I don't know, underpass on any map that has an underpass. Uh, so this is kind of more, I suppose, more of a rotating type of tool. You Really, if you're over here, you're going to be wanting to either go up or over to here. Um, and this is probably your main place that you're going to be playing, I would, I would assume. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very ballsy move to play up. Uh, as a CT, because you're, you're basically making, you're forced to make a read. You're forced to make a read, you, you think either they're going to go up here, in which case you should already have a, a, a fellow CT on site watching this angle, so you shouldn't have to worry about it, or, as is probably more appropriate, you come down here and take this fight. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really your options. That's my review of this map. I think it's a, it's a pretty good looking map. Uh, I like the setting, the, the like uh, race racetrack setting. That's pretty neat. Uh, I, I've never seen that in a in a track before. I don't think. Um, and I like the simplicity of the map. If I had one criticism, uh, it's a bit weird. Like it's kind of it's trying to do like a two corridor design, which is a bit strange. Like I'm not. It, I don't know. It's just a. It's just the layout feels weird to play. Like at first, I suppose when you get used to it, it's not so weird. But like this, this for example, it's almost oversimplified. Like this corridor, like like the angles are incredibly basic. Like there's nothing interesting. There's no like interesting like head angle, headshot angles, or like interesting little spots in the map that you can learn. Really, I mean, I suppose if more fights were happen to happen out here, that could be kind of interesting. But no fights are gonna happen out here. Because, like, why would a T really want to take this? And if they were taking it, why would a CT be here to defend? Like, I just don't think it's going to happen. Like, this whole space is a nothing space. You can't... There's no cover in here. No one can hold this. What, you, I assume you can get up here? Barely. You can pixel walk up here. You can't actually stand up there. You, you could go for a cheeky off angle up here where you've got an invisible wall above your head so you can't stand up. But this is a shit, like this isn't an actual angle that anyone holds, that's just an off angle that's just there to be an off angle. Um, can't get up there. This is useless anyway. Um, but really, yeah, really it feels like the site is where most of the battles would happen. I don't know, like even the site, it's like... This is the only bit of interesting geometry, where you have a little bit of a head angle, like a headshot angle. But all you can defend from here is this pointless corridor that's going to be owned by CTs anyway, so that's useless. I suppose this could be a kind of interesting angle, but um, it's really just another jiggle peak. This is just a jiggle peak, this is just a jiggle peak, and this is awkward as fuck, especially if both, CT if both T's are rushing from drop. Like you're going to be having weird fights where you're like running back and forth playing the vi playing vision it's it's like a it's a really like it's not comfortable fight it's it's a bit too vertical um i know people really like verticality in maps but i personally have never really cared that much about verticality in maps i don't know the the angles are just kind of boring and flat you know like there's there's nothing most of the angles are boring and flat drop is really the most in by far the most interesting part of this map is drop um, that's kind of like the unique feature of this map, I would say, is this big drop section. Um, so that's my review of Pit Stop. Let's try out, um, the other Wingman map, which is Calavera. And now we'll have a drink of water.
Okay, so this is Calavera. Um, oh, I actually have played this map too. This is this is a, a fun map. It kind of reminds me of a map from 1.6 that I don't know the name of. But um, yeah, this is Calavera. It's a bit of a weird one. Again, it's it's got some really weird features. If I was to say the defining feature of this map, I would say it's in here. Ladder room. This big ladder. This is what reminds me of the 1.6 map. Um, I don't know. It's it's a it's a weird fucking feature. But it's just a big hole in the ground with a ladder in it. Then mid is fucking weird. Like you can't fight here. I d I don't know. Like something about it just never works. Like I, it's just they all the fights in mid just feel really like clunky and weird. What the fuck sort of room is this? Who lives here? Explain this to me. This is a like what is this? How could this exist? Is this a shop? Is this supposed to be a shop? What the fuck is I? They're playing one point six, whatever they're doing. They're playing one point six. It's weird. Um. Well, I guess we're in Mexico as well, but uh, yeah, weird as fuck. So this is also weird. It's just a weird. I mean, Carl's Shred maps don't make sense in real life. We all know this. So yeah, this is mid, and if you're a T taking mid. You basically have three options. You either go, oh well, the time is about to run out. That should be fixed by the next round when the time it comes. Like it's like this whole thing. This is very obvious. Like okay, we're not even trying to make it look like something realistic. Like <laughs> this this structure would never be built in real life. Um, I'm not sure what to buy. I'll buy a deagle. Not that I can fucking fire it for some reason. Maybe if I unplug and hit my mouse, maybe it's a problem with my mouse. No, it's not a problem with my mouse, because I was just clicking things. Is this... Okay, so I, my, my click button is working, because I can move things. So I am clicking. I'm able to click things. It's a problem with Counter-Strike. Did I unbind click? I don't, I don't think I did. Okay, anyway, so... Um, yeah, mid... Obviously, you could go up here. There's really, like... I don't know why. <laughs> because all you're doing is limiting your own cover. Um, but, I mean, you could go up here, maybe, if you were rushing really fast and jump across into ladder room. Um, like, hit the B-hops, you know, like I, like I just did. But uh, I feel like doesn't really... The only reason to do that is to be on a more, like, level playing field so that your kind of headshot level with the CTs, but you could pretty easily... I mean, it's just to mix things up, right? That's the point of it. So either you could jump over to Ladder Room, which is going to be much easier with some smokes and flashes and whatever. You know, just flash out. Actually, that's such a, that's a, that's a good tactic, is just buy a flash, rush here, right? Like, rush up here, flash, throw a flash maybe over the corner or off the wall or something, and then just jump over to Ladder Room, and then you're instantly in Ladder. That's, like, that's not a bad strat. Anyway, I should speed this up. So that's option one, or you can try and take this section, which is um, has a whole area that you can't reach, which is good, makes the map feel fleshed out, like a real lived-in place, um, which leads up to here, or you could rush directly up to here on these boxes, you know, ideally using this as sort of secondary cover that you, you push to, you know, you maybe flash out, push up to here, take the fight, try and push them back into there, and then jump up these boxes, which are kind of awkward. Uh, and get in there, you know, either one works, they both lead to the same place, there's nothing else to do here. The point of this is you either end up in ladder room or up here. Um, now, over there, I believe, is CT. This is CT spawn, so... Uh, that's the th that's the thing, is that this is mid is so close to both T and CT that you're never going to be able to beat the CTs to mid. I think CTs actually reach mid slightly earlier than Ts. Also, this is bangable, this corrugated iron stuff. Um, and obviously not full cover, so the CTs are probably going to be playing like this angle. But yeah, once you're up here, the site is down there. Um, this is where you plant on this like weird coffin thing. Um, and there's some interesting stuff. So first of all, there's a few platforms. Well, I guess I should talk about ladder room. So you end up up there when you go uh, that way or that way, but ladder room. You know, you can either go through this door, which again takes you directly onto site, but makes a big squeaking noise, uh, or you can go right up here uh, and take site this way from, from the sort of upper level. Um, which, again, you could go over here, I suppose. 
uh, which gives you a little more visual cover because they can't see you when you're behind there. You can also climb up there from on these boxes. Um, and remember, ladder room is just back here. Um, so this is, I suppose this is kind of like a rushing kind of area. Like if you want to do sort of a suicide rush, you just rush through the door. There's so many angles to take, like there's so many possible places that a CT could be that this feels like a really bad idea, but it could catch them off guard, I guess. Um, but really ladder room is much, seems like a much safer option because you can sort of clear stuff out, you know, go around the corner, slowly clear stuff out this sort of situation. There's also this thing. Let's see if I can make the jump. Oh, apparently not. Let's try it not falling down this time. I've never actually tried it from this side, I've only tried it from the other side. Uh, so I guess I'll do that. So, which I think is what you're supposed to do, because there's a big gap here. So you can jump across here and into here, which I don't know why it's useful, but I did do it in a match just to see just to see if I could, and you can, which is kind of neat, I suppose. Uh, there's also another little balcony down here, which again, doesn't seem to be useful other than for climbing up here, um, which I don't know why you would ever do, because the stairs have a lot more cover. Stairs seems like a decent place to play as a CT, because you can cover Squeaky, you can cover this side from Ladder Room and this side from Ladder Room, and you know, you've got full vision to the site, and if you need to fall back, you can fall back up here, so maybe stairs is actually a pretty good place to play as a CT, especially, like, maybe what you do, you come C you come from CT, you run up here, you take one shot at mid, uh, you know, you either get the, get the kill or you don't, and then after that you immediately fall back to ladder. That seems like a pretty decent play from a CT, or just run straight to ladder. Either way, either one works, or you can play up here. You know, there's a lot, this is one of the things that I... It kind of feels like rafters on nuke, where there's just so many angles that someone could be. You know, you could be playing behind this box, you could just be standing out playing vision, like back here, you know, just crouching, standing as far back as you can so they can't shoot you, and then just stand up, hit, pop a couple shots off and go back. Could You know, you could be guarding this angle, like guarding the ladder or guarding this place, which T's can also run directly up to. Um, so I don't really know what the point of the exit from mid to ladder room is now, come to think of it, when you can just go directly here and down and into here. It's a bit strange. I don't know, there's a lot of interconnectedness. I suppose it's just for rotates and stuff. Um, but yeah, then when you're planting, you've got a lot of options. Obviously it's sort of a very basic circular design to plant the bomb. Uh, I don't know, this is a weird fucking site with too many angles, in my opinion. <laughs> but it seems, it's like fun to play. Like, it's a weird site with too many angles, but you don't, like, get those anymore, you know? There's also this place, which is really fucking weird to me. Like, what is going on here? Why is there a bunch of, like, why is there, like, a, you know, what we're doing? I think I have a no-scope, no, no, I have to type it in. What the fuck? What's plus... I think my config file broke with the newest update. This must be what happened. I think I know what's happened. My config file with some custom noises and shit, has sound effects and shit, has, has broken with the newest update. Okay, so I need to fix that. That's probably why. Wait, what? Oh, I have to... SV, I have SV underscore cheats one... A no clip. Okay, so what the fuck? Oh, Calavera version two point three, the definitive edition. No, the def definitive edition by Squinky and T Rexer, who I s and this is Gordon Freeman's. <laughs> Some Gordon Freeman's in a well down here, and a logo which I don't know what it is. I probably should. But yeah, this is just down here. This is just a, a place that you can go to in the map. I mean, you can't actually go through there, but you could you could throw a smoke down there or something, I don't know. Directly below the stairs. Interesting. Um, anything else interesting? Nope. Nothing else interesting. Maybe there's something in the boxes. I don't know why I'm just no-clipping around the map. 
Yeah, this is this is a pretty typical Counter Strike map. I suppose that you can look in here. Hey, guitar model. Some drinks. What the fuck? See, you could never see this, right? There's no way you can see this. This is just a secret. See, I'm glad I know clip through the map because I. What is this? I'm sure this has a meaning. I'm sure this symbol has some meaning to someone, right? Do you see that on the camera? Yeah, I have no idea what that means though. It's probably a reference to something. Uh, but I don't understand it. Can you like, see that from... I suppose you can see this from inside the... Huh. That's fucking weird. That's a cool little easter egg. I don't know what it means, but it's a cool little easter egg. And there's a barbecue down here. I don't know, it's a fun map to play. This is like the exact opposite of Pit Stop, where Pit Stop was like too simplistic and clean, whereas this map is like really, uh, like 1.6 feeling, like kind of rough and ready, not, I mean, obviously it's not rough and ready because as you can see, it's very pretty and like professionally put together, but as in like the layout feels like it was sort of, you know, not designed where it's like, okay, everything has to be a really specific angle or a really specific corner peak that serves one specific purpose. It's more like, here's a space, here's just like a fun space where battles can happen. Um, and, you know, whatever happens in those battles is up to the player. I suppose you can play, throw smokes and flashes through your windows. Don't know why you would really want to, but they're there if you want to. Also, I like that this ceiling is open so that you can obviously throw smokes onto the site. Um... I suppose you could probably, this like this is like a place to parkour up to here, it's like a, you see like this, that is like a 1.6 thing, like type of design, or like, you know, earlier than CSGO type of design, where you actually have to do a skill jump, I mean, the only leftover from that is like, cash really, with the, the CT, um, self boost, you know, like that, that doesn't really exist that much in, um, CS anymore, uh, I, like they even made the, jump up to silo on nuke like really easy and stuff so there's not and i mean it's, this is not a, really a skill jump it's just a bit of parkour it's, it's like a very easy jump but i suppose do you know what i'm gonna try nope didn't work i was trying to hit the edge bug on the corner of this box which you could probably manage i did it I hit the edge bug on the corner of the box. I don't think I did. I think I just landed in the corner smoothly, but it wasn't a proper edge bug. And you can climb up here. Like, there's a bunch of weird spots like that. Like, who's ever going to use that? Or the, the fucking squeaky. Like, squeaky is just, like... Like, this is such a weird... I don't know why you would rush it. Because it's not like you can SMG rush it, because you're fighting long angles. I don't know, it's a weird map. But I kind of like the fact that it's a weird map. You would expect this angle to be stronger. I'm glad it isn't, because this would be a really shitty angle to deal with. And there's glow sticks on the floor as well, for no reason. Uh, yeah, this feels like a good map for some, like, neat sort of movement stuff. You know, you, you can jump across the balconies, you can land on that and take damage. There's no surfs, though, which is a shame. Some surfs would be nice chairs to stand on. This is a great angle. Not really. That was a joke. Uh, yeah, it's just a weird fucking map. Like, in a good way. Like, it's kind of unique. It doesn't feel like anything else we have in CS right now, which is always nice to see. It's not the same, like, two-lane design that we always have. It's like a weird mishmash of lanes and panes. <laughs> so, there we go. That's, um, whatever the fuck this map's called. Now let's go on to the two uh, competitive maps. The two, oops, practice with bots. Competitive. There we go. Let's go on to the the two new competitive maps. That's Grind and Mocker. How long have we been recording for and how's the battery? Half an hour. That's pretty good. I wanted to do like 15 minutes per map. Um, obviously these are going to be a bit more complex than the smaller Wingman maps, so these might take a bit longer, but I'll try and keep your attention. So let's start with Grind. Oops, didn't mean to turn no clip on. What have I done? What have I done?
Okay. So this is this is my first time seeing. What is this grind? I think this is grind. I don't remember which one this is. Um, half of my um, it's a wow. This is a weird one. So I guess this is set in a quarry. That is really cool. I need to no clip over there because that is just super cool. And this is not in the skybox. This is just in the map. Wow, that's super cool. This is still not in the skybox. Wow, this is awesome. I may just have a full. Can you, I wonder if this ground text you could stand on? You can stand out here. Wow, that is so cool. No, not surfable. Is this surfable? Yay, surfable walls out of bounds. Sick. This has no collision, of course. This is the sort of place you'd put like a um, map credits like that other map had. Oh shit, okay, that has no collision. And it kills you when you reach the bottom. Nice. Anyway, sorry, let's stop exploring out of bounds and start exploring inbounds, the actual map. Because I have never played this before. I'm going to be reading the mini-map pretty hard. So it looks like there's three lanes that you can go to. Let's start on the left. Um, is this a jump you can make? No, it looks too far. To, oh, you can't. Even if you wanted to, you can't. These windows, maybe they can be shot out. I can't. I don't know because I can't click. Uh, wait. I can actually left click with the. I mean, right click with the, the knife. No, you can't shoot these windows out. Good to know. So, looks like this then splits off into two. This connects with mid. So let's go this way. And this is B. Okay, so this takes you directly to B. And it looks like a sort of Dust 2 type of situation where the fight is going to be happening on B, not in a sort of lead up to B. So I assume CTs get here first and are sort of like going to be positioned. See, these are like interesting angles. This is what pit stop is kind of missing. Like this, it's like a risk reward trade off where you get to see them first and you get a high angle, but you have no cover. This is a sort of like pretty typical side angle, but then you can make a crossfire. You can set up a crossfire with someone over here or over here or even over here. This is like a very front and center angle where you, but you're slightly more exposed. You can't really fall back. As this is more of like a head at headshot angle where you're less exposed, but then you have to be further away and hit your shots. Over here is like a, I suppose this is where CTs come from or something. But, um, I, I mean, you could even guard from here, maybe set up a crossfire with someone. Over. Like, this is a well-designed bombsite. This is a very well-designed bombsite. There's something down there, um, which we will now no-clip into, because this is one of the things I enjoy doing. Uh, there's nothing that interesting. But it's down there, and it's fully modeled, and not in the skybox. Well, I suppose this wouldn't be in the skybox, would it? Uh... But yeah, this is just down here for aesthetic reasons. There's also stuff up here which you can't reach, and it's all nice and cold. And you can't reach over here as well, but this is all nice and done, not cold as well. This could do with some optimization, I suppose, but... Well, no, actually, because you, you could, you could, if you, yeah, no, never mind, you don't want to cold these, because you could jump up, like, if you were in a higher up area jumping, you'd be able to see over here, so never mind. Don't take my advice, mappers. You clearly know what you clearly know what you're doing better than I can. Also, you can throw smokes and flashes through here, I suppose, but the but the ceiling is not open. Um, so that's neat. Um, anything else interesting about this bomb site? What's over here? Nothing. This is just for the windows where you can throw smokes and flashes and stuff. Um, and then you know you're really it seems like your seat. Let's turn the clip off. Seems like the CTs are going to be coming from here, which is a non interactable door, uh, and here. So, you, I guess you can't. Yeah, you could even hold this. You can even hold this and then fall back to here. That would be a pretty sick play. Like, or you could hold. There's so many different places, like, so many interesting places for the CTs to be, but it's not overwhelming for the Ts. It's not like you know, rafters on nuke or 
that previous map we played was like, oh, they could be fucking anywhere. It's like, no, you can very clearly, like, you can traditionally clear this bomb site. You can use smokes to, like, cut off, I like, a smoke here and a smoke here would give you total, that would be, like, the classic entry smokes. If you had a smoke lineup, like, one, one here and one here, coordinate with your team, you could entry and then, you know, pop off or whatever. It would, it would work. Okay, so that's B. Interesting. I really like that. Definitely well designed. Alright, let's try out mid and see what mid is like from the T side. So, mid you seem to... let's see where you come from, from spawn. Okay, so this is what you come from down here, so if you, you sort of spawn down here and then you just run down here. Interesting. And then of course you can rotate pretty easily up to B and up to A. So, whoa, this is a weird setup. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I guess this is like a double doors. This is like a weird double doors, but you, oh, there is an angle to see through it. So I guess this is where the orc battles would be happening. Long distance, long range orc battles. Um, again, this feels kind of quite dust hooey. That's over to B. Um, yeah, long range orc battles, I assume. Th yeah, this is CT. So this is literally dust to mid. This is literally dust to mid. CTs get the orc there first. Um, but then this is what's weird about it. So you have this, um, I guess this is kind of a traditional four square design. So you have this sort of angle where I, s I assume you're sort of pushing up and then I guess this would be like cat and then this goes into B, right? Yeah, this goes into B. Okay. So you could flank B, you could do a two sided B push where some of you come here and some of you come from mid, but that's going to be a bit tricky to pull off because orpers and such like. But it seems... I'm not sure what the point of mid is. I guess maybe it gives you an advantage on A. <coughs> this is weird. This is kind of throwing me off right now. Like, this whole area, I can't... What the fuck? Phys physics interactable tumbleweed? Whoa, okay, that's um, really cool. I guess it's based on the footballs on Dust 2, but they're tumbleweed. Wow, that's cool. I mean, I suppose one smoke cuts off mid, like mid views for the AWPer. It's just that in, either to, in order to even throw a smoke, there's no, like, you can't throw a smoke over the top like you can in Dust 2, so. I mean, unless maybe there's a crazy smoke that goes all the way over the building, which might exist, but it's a bit weird. So yeah, this sort of area is throwing me off. Like, this feels like a sort of no man's land. Like, what is this place supposed to be? Who plays here? Who pl Like, this is like its own arena. It's like its own miniature arena, where you sort of take this side, and this goes to A, I guess. Um, but we won't spoil A yet. So, yeah, this is a weird place, like, I, I would need to see this in actual gameplay to understand the function of that sort of, this area. And in fact, mid itself, like, it just feels kind of... I mean, I can understand doing, like, pushing mid so you can do a two-pronged B split or a bit a mid to B, because you can obviously split the two sides, yeah. So you could do a pretty effective mid to B with that, but, uh... We'll have to see how that plays out for the A side, because there's a weird arena over there. And of course into CT, although I suspect this won't be a very common place to be. As you can tell that they don't want you to be in CT, because there is no cover here. There is nothing interesting. This is just a place for CTs to run to the sites from. Speaking of run to the sites from, let's go back through mid and try going to A through T side. Oops, run into a wall. Is this like anything? I don't think it is. Like, yeah. This is just the thing that you can be hop off of. <laughs> because it's Counter-Strike. Back here, this implies there could be a battle here. But I don't think there would be. I think it's just detail scenery. Okay, this is fucking weird. Maybe there would be a battle here. Because there's like... I guess this is a choke point. How quick? Never mind. Okay, I don't think that happens. I think this is the choke point. I think this is the choke point, because... I, this is fuck... Okay, this is weird. This is really... Oh, this is like... 
back of A on um, cash, like a, a quad I think it's called on cash. Okay, this is fucking, this is a weird, this is a weird place. This is a, this is way less to do, okay. And then this connects over to here, which we've already seen. So I guess you play 2A, one person guards this side, one person guards this side. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know, this is weird. This is not as intuitive as B to me. This, this area goes to CT, okay. So what? What is going on here, exactly? So I suppose one... This is kind of like, maybe it's sort of like a... A B... Like a sort of, um... B on Mirage situation, where you play two people, one watches the mid to B, one watches, like, B apps, I guess this, but this would... Maybe you could even AWP? Like, you could even, like, AWP or an AUG would be really good here. An AUG would be really good here, from a CT side, where you can just hold this angle. But I guess this is the obvious angle, so you're gonna get pre-fired and you're gonna get smoked off and shit. But the thing is, like, there is a long... Like, do you know what this is? This is long. How did I not think of this? This is like long A on dust, but with like extra cover for a CT sniper. This is long A on dust, but with extra cover for a CT sniper. Because the thing, like, the reason long A on dust works is because you know, there's not that much cover on the site, and you can easily smoke out and, like, um, nade out people who are hiding. Whereas this, I mean, I suppose one molly is going to flush them out, but that is not an easy molly to throw. I guess you did a lineup or something. But yeah, this is all open, so you're going to have to have won that battle. You're going to be have to throwing utility all over the place. But then once you've taken the site, the site itself is way more simple than B. Like, it's... Yeah, again, this is very reminiscent of A on Dust 2. It's just a really simple place where you can just sort of, like... I would assume this is safe plant. I would guess, like, this would be sort of an open plant, or maybe over, like, center. This would be, like, planting for maybe here. I don't know, it's weird. Or you could plant here, defend long, and then hide behind what I'm just going to call quad. That is a weird situation. Okay. I I am really interested to see how this plays out in an actual match. I, I am definitely going to give this a try in a competitive match because this seems like a really interesting dynamic. I don't know if it will work. Um, like, I, I've just... It's very unique, which is cool. Like, I like how they took a like a, an interesting approach to A and then, like, a more standard approach to B where it's, like you can choose which sort of playstyle you want to approach. Okay, so now I understand the purpose of this section. The purpose of this section is that going A through long, which is what I'm going to call that place, going A through long... Wait, this is not a door you can open, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why the arrow... I guess it's just pointing in general towards B. But, like, going A through long is going to be really difficult with two people watching long. So you need to you need to split a you need to split a so that you can distract someone okay that makes sense now but it's going to be difficult as fuck to push through mid especially if cts have snipers i mean we'll go to ct side and see if there's anything i missed but i don't really think there is i think i've pretty much talked about the whole map so obviously this is ct side you're going to go to b through here, you've got your two options, you can either go through B through this place, which I guess you could call hot, or you could guard B through this place, which is like backside, maybe up here, play an interesting sort of headshot angle, then mid, you're gonna, seems like the obvious sort of sniper, battle, or battle, mid, I suppose it's gonna be behind these boxes that you're gonna be aiming. Um, it's going to be a bit weird, I guess you'll sm get smoked off or something. And then A is just fucking nuts, where one person is probably going to be playing, like, either this angle, or close. I don't know what the timings are, this is the thing, I don't know what the timings are, so that's why I say I need to see it in an actual game. Like, maybe you play, cl maybe you get enough time that you can play close and guard this, like, A long on Dust 2. Maybe you play this angle, 
but then you have nowhere to fall back to if you get killed. I mean, that's a good thing about this. Some of the good design is it's that it gives the CT some powerful angles, but nowhere to fall back from if they get, um, like nowhere to get fall, to fall back to if they get overwhelmed. So like one CT here could easily take it, like this is a, you have a big advantage as a CT here over the T's. You're going to see them first. It's, they're not going to know where you are. You're going to know where they are. Like they have to be coming from here, but you could be anywhere. So you're going to have the advantage on them. You can throw flashes, you know, off the wall. That's going to be an interesting surface to throw nades off, right? And so on. But, and you can easily pe sort of peek out, get one kill, fall back into cover. You have a big advantage. But as soon as you get pushed, you're fucked. You can't fall back anywhere. And that's true as well for quad, which is what I'm calling this. Like, you can hold this angle and it's really powerful, but once you get pushed, you're fucked. Like, you can't run away anywhere. You can't run away anywhere without being in a direct sight line from the T's. The only place you can hold is here, right? Because then you can sort of fall back. You have, you know, plenty of options. But the problem is, if they're doing an A split, you're going to get pushed from here. So it's actually pretty fair. I thought this would be way too CT-sided when I'd only seen this, but can, taking this into consideration, I think this is going to be pretty even. All right, so there we go. That's my opinions on this map. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder if you can boost someone up here. This seems like you could boost someone up here. What does that lead to? So what the fuck? Why would you want to do this? I mean, you could boost someone up there, but what's the point? Maybe I mean, maybe you can. I don't know. That's a weird little section. This feels like a good, this is a good angle, but obviously you can't ever get here. There is a lot of stuff put outside the world, like these big trucks and shit, that's really cool. Kind of reminds me of Nuke. What is all this? Oh, this is more of the quarry outside. See, that is really neat. Anyway, okay, this map seems pretty interesting. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording while I go to the toilet, and then we'll be back with the final map. Okay, and finally, uh, we are going to be playing... So that was Grind, so next is Mocha, which I believe is the last of the new maps. Um, I mean, there's Ancient, but I, that's not really new. It's only new in the competitive pool. But it's been in the game for a while, they just moved it to the, the official map pool, the official competitive map pool. So, Mocha. Seems smaller. Or maybe just the bomb sites and spawn zones are bigger. Interesting. Okay. So, instantly, I'm getting under 60 FPS looking over here, which is rare. I'm getting 59 FPS. I never get that in CSGO. So this is a, I mean, you can see why, because this is a really pretty map. Um, but, th this is, this is some frame, this is some framiness. Wow, this is weird. Okay, let's do the same thing we did before. Okay. I didn't, I honestly, I thought this aqueduct would just be aesthetic, but you actually play under it. That's fucking crazy. That is wild. This is the prettiest map I've ever seen, hands down, by the way. Like, the sort of, like, painterliness, but also, I guess this is a boost. Interesting. Okay, anyway, let's, um, get on with the review. So, I guess this is T-Spawn. We'll start right at the very left side or you go backwards to get to big so you go backwards and around here so this is going to give the cts plenty of time to take the site i suppose and then in here is b so this is going to be cts are already holding this angle i, I assume because it take i mean unless it, maybe yeah ct spawned really close to b from the what i can see on the map but uh oh this is a place that they could be 
Oh, you're going to be fucked coming through here. This is going to be a really interesting battle. So you're going to, like, what, take position, like, one guy fighting here, one guy fighting here. This is probably going to get smoked off. It's weird. These are not rendering properly. Um, oh, yeah, so I suppose CTs come up here. And they come That's weird. So this is B. This big concrete structure, I guess the point of this is to give CTs plenty of places to fall back to. Like, yeah, CTs have lots of options here to fall back. Oh, and the round's about to restart. Okay, let's get back there. Now we, now we have our timing properly set up. So, yeah, back to B. I am not really sure how to even begin talking about this. Like, what is this play? Maybe you could even take a fight back here. That's such a weird angle, but kind of cool. Is this forklift got a collision? Nope, it's all clipped off. Okay, very smooth, battery smooth. And my mouse came unplugged. There we go. There's all just like coffee on the ground. That's kind of a neat little detail. I suppose these are sacks, of, these sacks are all full of coffee. This is kind of neat. This is a bit, I mean, it seems a bit outdated, but Source is a bit of an outdated engine. So yeah, this is B, it's very open. Like there, this is safe plant. This is like the safest you can plant. And it's a, it's a headshot angle. Like this is a very open bomb site. Um, uh, oh, you can jump up here? That's kind of neat. I wonder if you can get up to there. No, that's too high. I'm pretty damn sure that's too high. Yeah, it's going to be too high for you to jump up. Um, any, any sort of angles up here? No. No, I don't think you can make that. don't think you can make that. Uh, this is probably clipped off. No! It's not clipped off. This would be an interesting off angle. Don't see how it'd be that useful though. Um, I don't know what. I guess this is all for CTs to just run through and hold this, and then fall back to here. Maybe hold this. And maybe there's some sort of route. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We'll talk about that later. Uh, actually, do you know what? I will talk about that now. I'll just go all the way to C to CT. So again, these are glitching the fuck out. Is this a window you can break? Maybe. Maybe that's a place where you can throw nades as a CT. It definitely is. That's definitely a place you can throw nades as a CT. Interesting. And these are all skylights you can throw nades as a T. So that's neat. At least there's options. Um, interesting. And then this takes you back to CT. So CTs are definitely going to get to B first. I'm 100% I'm sure of that. Or you end up down here. You know, rushing through to here. Okay. But other than that, like, I don't know if there's really that much to talk about on this on this site. Like, this area is interesting, and this fight is interesting, but post-plant? Like, how the fuck do you retake this as a CT? Like, where do you even stand as a T? To the retakes are going to be weird as fuck. Like, especially if they're coming through CT, rotating through CT. Like, this is going to be a weird fucking retake. I don't know. It's a bit of a strange, bit of a strange site, but... Like, it feels like it's really busy over here and then really minimal back here. It's a bit strange. But anyway, and then this obviously goes through to CT. And this goes through to what I assume is mid, which we won't spoil because we're going, oh, going back to T. Spawn. Sorry, had to. Um, going back to T-spawn. And now mid. So this is, I assume, how you get to mid. Oh, there's, there's an interesting... Why is there a little... What is that? Is that over here? Is that up there? Why is there something on the map? Oh, it's here. Okay, that's fucking weird. So you're going to be going through mid, and there's going to be a guy here and a guy up here. That's fucking strange. And this is a boot. I guess you probably get there through some sort of door over, over here or something. Like, 
ah, just what we're talking about. This is B, and so you would come through here, and this is how you get into this angle, which is a bit strange. It's like kind of an off angle where you have nowhere to fall back to. What? Can you? There's no way, right? Way! There's way! There's a way! What? What the fuck is this place? There's a whole apartments area that I didn't even notice. Where the fuck are we? Oh, this is the back of mid? This is... Oh, this is this side of the map. Okay, that's weird and sick. This is a whole, like, fleshed out apartments area. Uh, which I guess, if you have a shotgun and you're playing on Nico, this is where you go as a CT. Um, and T's can get here also. No, this is C... Okay, I don't, I'm lost. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm on currently... Okay, so I was I was somewhere near T spawn. What? Okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. Where the fuck was I just now? Down here. Wait, this is B. I didn't even notice that little that little cubby hole. I didn't even notice it. So if you're at B, you could rush to B, and then like somehow rotate over to here, and then into a Oh, this is boiler, I guess. Into apartments. I assume you can shoot this light out, otherwise I'll be disappointed. And flank through mid. That's cool. Or, if you, if you really want to, you come through here and flank all the way into... Oh, wait, never mind. The wrong way. I mean, <laughs> you come through here. Sorry, got lost again. And, fl and, and this is an entrance to A, I'm going to assume. Or oh, this is puts you near A anyway. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. But let's get back to mid because I got a bit distracted by this whole massive apartment section, which isn't even obvious that it exists. I I might have even missed that if I hadn't just looked up at the window there. So then you got this sort of section. This seems interesting. Um, I saw this in a Jericho video, and then this to B. So what's the mid to B on this map? I guess this just takes you... Oh, this just takes you to the place that the CTs are to be. Because this just takes you to CT spawn, okay. And then the, the the mid to A... So mid is quite compact, actually. Because really, like, this is the main battle. And then, like, the mid to A, I guess, is the main battle... The main... What you really want to be doing. So yeah, that's the mid to A. It's not that interesting, honestly. There's not, like, other than that, the, like, the whole apps area and this area, which is kind of weird. Like, again, this would be pretty good with a shotgun. Like, this is, is now we're just really talking about A if we're talk, talking about that. And then, that's it? Like, that's it for mid, I suppose? I'm trying to figure out what these two little corridors are. What are these two? Do, do they go like a... Oh, is that apps? Is that apps? Is, are those two little corridors apps? How the fuck did I get up there before? Oh, yeah, I had... Did I just... Did I no clip up there or what? Could I jump up there? No, you definitely can't jump up there. I guess I just no clipped up there. I, I don't even remember. Oh, no, I went all the way around, right? I remember now. I went all the way around. Most B hops of my life. So I guess. No, this is not. Oh, this is apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the map. Uh, sorry, I was looking at the mini map and I was trying to figure out what this corridor is, but I, I found out what it is now. It's this this corridor. Okay, so this goes directly over the top. Alright, well, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to look at A. We're going to take a look at this whole area because this is just fascinating to me. What the fuck? Okay, so this is drop. This, or do you guess you could get boosted up here, but. Why would you want to be boosted up here? Oh, so you can like peek this angle. I don't. I'm confused by this. I would need to see how this plays in the game to really understand what function this serves. Like this area seems really cool, despite my FPS wildly fluctuating from 50, 59 all the way up to one hundred and twenty in this area, depending on where I look. Like hey, ninety five, ninety nine, one hundred forty three. If I'm looking up. 180 if I'm looking down, but 80, 62, 61, if I'm looking over here, bit weird, but, you know, 
whatever. At least I get 60 FPS regularly. Console players on a fucking Mac. Man, console players really are missing out on all the good things in life. Uh, so yeah. Oh, you got one of these sprite. There's, there's a single. There's a few of these really distracting, like sprite-based grass things that they have in uh, that danger zone map. But they're way lower quality than all of the others. Maybe it's just my graphical settings that make it look lower quality. Um, but yeah, that's a bit weird. It looks weird if you pay attention to it, because they're just they're very obviously sprites. I mean, like, why would you put very obvious sprites in such a pretty map? Like, very obvious 2D sprites. Like, you can really see that they're always looking at you. But then some of the grass is properly mo No? Yeah, like, like, that grass back there is properly... It's just, like, a, a properly modelled, and it's not... Why Why all the grass 2D... Like, mixed in 2D sprites? That's such a weird decision. I mean... I guess you don't notice it when you're looking, when you're moving fast. But, yeah, you don't really notice it when you're just running through the area, so I guess that makes sense. But these flowers are, like, properly modelled and all the vines and stuff, so it's weird that they chose to make that sprites. But anyway, so I guess you'd fight your way up here. This is, like, a really cool view of this aqueduct thing. It's really awesome. I can't overstate how cool it looks. Um... And then you just sort of like come around here, and then what? This is, this takes you into apps, right? Okay, okay. This takes you into apps. This is where we just were with the aqueduct, and there's a hotel, a nothing place with nothing, some scaffolding. I guess you could throw smokes over here. This is not what I expected A to be like at all. Okay, okay, I'm understanding now. And then this is A, I assume. And it's a drop down. So this with okay, so there's 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 two ways into A. You can you could go round here and down a ramp if you didn't want to drop or if you want to come up there. And this you jump up. Wow, this is a big area. And this takes you okay, this takes you all the way to CT. So CTs are getting to both the sites really quickly, because like Running from the CT over to here, like you're not gonna be playing you're not gonna be playing back here really, unless you're really boring and you just wanna wait them out. Like you're gonna be rushing, I assume. Like rushing over to here maybe. And then falling back. Hey, it's this thing from that other map. The same graffiti. Lazy bastards. Wow, this is fucking strange. So I guess, the, again, the mid to A is going to be powerful, like a pincer move, but... You can jump over here. Uh, I don't know, this is a weird, this is a weird A site. I mean, both of the sites on this map have been pretty strange to me. You can't jump on this truck. It's clipped off. Okay, interesting. Not even on the front, not even on this little thing. No, it's properly clipped off, that's annoying. Maybe... No, you can't... It's all clipped off. You can't even walk on that little wall. That's so. That's a. That's a little bit annoying. But it's probably for like. There's probably a legitimate gameplay reason for that. This tree. You can play tree. That's a weird, weird angle where you're just gonna die. This is not an angle you want to play. This is the angle you want to play, I guess. Or like down here, or even like here. It's a weird angle. This, I don't think you want to play. Maybe if you have a shotgun or an SMG. SMG jumping around this corner, that's not a bad shout. Um, or maybe you play, like... Tell me, tell me you can... Maybe you boost someone up here, that would be interesting. Or you play, like, back here. I don't know, this is going to be weird, because of the mid to, B, uh, mid to A stuff, where they could come through here. So any angle where you're, like, you know, maybe, maybe you're playing this, like, that... You're fucked because if you say if one person comes from A, they I mean if one person comes from mid, you can't play this because if one person comes from mid, you're fucked. So you have to play what further back. I mean I, I don't know. You're gonna need good call outs because you're fucked if someone comes from mid if you're playing anywhere like near the actual planting like zone of the site. This is like a safer spot, but even then you're relatively open. Um. I don't know. It's a weird site. 
I don't know how CTs are going to play this, but then again, I because of how close they are, I would assume that the real battles would take place like in this kind of area, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe like, I would assume the real battles take place over here. How the fuck do you retake it then? I don't know. It's going to be a weird, weird sort of situation. Yeah. And then, like, very obvious low, <laughs> low pixels skybox. Like, CT is, like, really open... I don't know, this is such a weird map. I mean, it looks great, except for the sprite grass, <laughs> which doesn't look that great. But other than the sprites of grass, it looks pretty great. The apps section seems interesting. I bet there's a pixel walk on that balcony. And then B seems kind of in. I don't know, the, both of the sites are weirdly designed. Like, they don't use the regular design philosophy of sites with regards to sight lines and, like, Maybe that's a good thing, because they're trying to make it so that CTs can't have overpowered positions. I think that's the point. I think, like, when I said, like, oh, how are you going to defend this as a CT? I think that's the point. I think the point is that, as a CT, defending A, you, you just don't have, like, your positions are just, like, naturally... You can definitely make that jump. You can 100% make that jump. If I could remember how to jump properly. You can 100% make that jump. Hold on. I gotta try this now. Uh, maybe it's blocked off. Maybe it's clipped off. But I feel like you could... Nah, I'm pretty sure I just got hit on an invisible wall. Okay, maybe not. It's gonna be embarrassing if I'm wrong, though. I don't know, I feel like I'm getting stuck on an invisible wall, but maybe I'm just bad at long jumping. I am pretty bad at long jumping, this is a known fact about me. Hmm. No, I don't think, I don't think you can make that with a long jump. But yeah, maybe the point is that you just have to pray that your mid players are good, and then you can just sort of play somewhere out in the open, and then if your mid players die, you have to take like a really defensive spot and you get fucked or play the retake or something. Yeah, that's an interesting concept. I mean, it's, 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 I'm not sure. It sounds kind of like, I'm trying to think of other maps that do that. It's a bit Inferno-y. Like if, like if you play Sight, Inferno A, like, yeah, it's the same sort of concept where it's like, or like, I don't know, it's kind of unique as well. Yeah, it's a weird concept, it's a weird idea. But you're basically, you're going to want, if you're as a CT, you're going to want to have someone good playing mid, because if they do a mid to A pincer, they do an A split, and they successfully pull it off, like two guys coming, If imagine if a full five squad, two guys coming mid, three guys coming drop, like, two, you're, that's just an easy take. That's just the world's... Like, if they, if the two guys actually make it through mid, that is the easiest A take of your fucking life. The two A players are going to get destroyed. B, on the other hand, I don't know what strats to use. Like, the way I see B going... Again, having not played any actual competitive games of these, so... It'll be interesting to actually play these maps in competitive and see how my predictions pan out. But like my 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 theory is that 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 B fighting is going to be someone smokes us off and it's spamming smoke. It's like re smoking like CT's re re smoking this like trying to flash through the smoke and maybe jump through and getting shot in the back by these guys or like like having double aim battles where one like one guy's peeking this one guy's peeking this and then. Deciding to rotate through apps, rotating through apps and getting fucked through here, like going through here and just getting shotgun to death. That's how I see this going, if I'm being honest. Ah, uh, it's very nicely detailed in here though. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays in competitive. I think I like grind more from just what I've seen. Like. 
that's just a guess. I don't know if I'll actually like it more when I actually play it in competitive, but I think I would like it more just from my guess. But this one obviously looks better. Like, the views on this map are great. Like, that is such a cool imagery. I kind of, I kind of feel the need to no clip around now. I assume, yeah, this is all cut. Wow, my frames. 30 FPS. Wow, frames. Because this is not skybox. This is all actually there. This is sky... This is... Yeah. Let's go down there and see, see what it's about. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. It's, whoa, trippy. Trippy. It's just hills, but... It's pretty neat. They look pretty nice. Oh, and it's actually way... Whoa, it's way less textured than you... Like... This looks really, like, bumpy, but it's actually pretty flat and it's just the texture that does a really good job of giving it depth that's some really good texture work right there obviously the back is cold that makes sense but yeah like this looks from a, from a distance like it's got all sorts of complex creases in it and stuff but it's actually really simple geometry that's very good texture work right there I don't know if that's a bump map no it's not is it because you would see it from a different angle yeah no it's just it's just the texture, I think. I don't think it's... A, maybe... I'm, like, I'm pretty sure it's just... The texture. I don't think it's got anything fancy, like a bump map or a displacement map or something. I think it's just... Good texture work, because it doesn't seem like shit. Yeah, I think it's just good texture work. Wow, interesting. And I have no idea where the actual map is, so... It's just... I guess I'll just head towards A. Or head towards where this says it is. There we go, we found it. We're in the ocean now. Bell tower. I bet this makes a noise. No? No noise. Shame. No ding. But but why not? You could easily you could just make it make a ding and then people would shoot it and it would make a ding. That's a shame. Uh, this goes nowhere, of course. It's actually not that. I mean, it's it's quite a small, compact map for how like big it feels. Like that's the whole map. It's actually not that big. It's just that this area feels bigger than it is. And A also, like, I don't know. Pretty cool. Pretty cool map. Interesting, at least. I'll, I'll, I'm very interested to see how this one plays. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Uh, Patreon.com.